library. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. We are pulling apart this idea of sex, which is related to genitals, and gender, which is related to how you move in the world. So what you wear, how you share your identity with other people, all of those things are related to gender. Whereas sex is really biology, genitals, that's about it. stretch at the gym because before I started OF I was doing that same stretch before every leg day right right and also to all the girls saying that I deserved it and all the people saying that I deserve to have my phone kicked I deserve to be harassed in public because I was minding my own business in the smallest corner of the gym is there a rule that says no phones no there's not was it on a tripod was I being obnoxious no I wasn't was I being loud no so, I don't know. It's really sad to me to see all these comments saying that I deserve something because I went to the gym and I was stretching. I'm assuming he already knew who I was because I am online in the way that I am and that it made him angry. And guys tend to get mad at things that they can't have. You find more women go in those places with shorts than you will women with pants and dresses put together. Try it. If you got time, try it. Have your boy go up there and try it. Just watch for it. Have your girl go up there and watch for it. And you know, I, I, I used to say this. And I, I haven't said this in a long time. You ready? I said, if, if you dress like that and you get raped and I'm on the jury, he's going to go free. Now, you don't like, do you? I'm right, though. I, I can't help you don't like it. I'm right. Because, you know, a man's a man. If you dress like that and you get raped and I'm on the jury, he's going to go free. Because, you know, a man's a man. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 14. The Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, had mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. All right, before I continue, let me start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach in the course where I learned this truth, peace, and salutations to the Lord's elect, that be in the house of David. <clears throat> Today is March the 6th, year 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Jacob being the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native Americans through the seed of their fathers. All right. And this lesson right here in particular is going to be dealing with Jacob's, you know what I'm saying, fraternal wicked brother, which is Esau. All right. Today, he's so-called, he's known as the so-called white man. All right. Which they're not white. They're red. All right. You know. We call them pink toes and all that, but they're actually just, you know, red, all right? Their blood shows forth through, through their skin, all right? 
they're, they're uh, cursed with leprosy, all right? And they're the wicked that the Bible speaks of, all right? And they are the reason that the world is in the fashion that it's in today, you know? As I had that scripture posted at the beginning, what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such a they that dwell there, right? And that's why it's a perverse, wicked spirit in this place, because Esau is, is running it right now, right? He's the face that runs the place, all right? Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. All right, now Esau was set up and established by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah to rule for a time frame. All right, but he's at the end of his reign. All right, he's at the end of his eon, the end of his age. All right, as it tells you in 2 Ezra 6 and 9, Esau is the end of the world, meaning reign, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, Jacob's world, Jacob's reign is soon to come. All right, so we're going to go through some of these clips that I showed you, know, you know, Lord willing to be edifying. All right, uh, with the beginning clip, all right, when you seen, uh, and I'm saying the, the Edomite woman, all right, take her daughter to one of these rainbow coalition, uh, parades and shit, all right, and she has the people at the parade, you know, uh, refer to her daughter as they, all right, not to her as a little girl, but as they, all right, and you know, that's, that's, that's what Esau does, all right? He's he's just got the mind of a maniac, all right? You know what I'm saying? Even in the second clip to follow that one, all right, you had, um, excuse me. All right, yeah, my bad. Um, but as I was saying, uh, even in the second clip, all right, you had the, the Edomite men, all right, and as, as well as other men, all right? You even had some Jakes up in there. All right, these niggas is wearing heels, all right, to, uh, I think it said to, to march against violence against women or some shit like that. All right, just showing you that this place is extremely perverse. All right, you you men have went, have been become perverse. That's why this place is known as spiritual Sodom in Egypt as well. All right, let's get the definition of perverse. All right. Perverse. It reads, of a person or their actions showing a deliberate and obstinate desire to behave in a way that is unreasonable or unacceptable, often in spite of the consequences, all right? You know, and that's this place right here, all right? You know, this place is going to get the same judgment that Sodom and Gomorrah got, all right? Let me see. Right here it says, contrary to the accepted or expected standard or practice, all right? And that's this place embodies that all right you know that's the spirit that runs through this place all right and you men all right you 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 got to be destroyed just like these women got to be destroyed all right this is deuteronomy 22 and verse 5 it says the woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are an abomination unto the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shai thy god all right, so you men who wearing them heels and shit, you're an abomination to the Lord. All right, you're wearing woman's clothing. All right, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the best way you could advocate for some violence against women. All right, which we, we don't give a damn about none of these people over here, what happened to them. All right, if they ain't of the elect, they're going to get what they're going to get, and we don't give a shit about it. All right, it is what it is. All right, they deserve death, and the Lord is going to give them that. All right, but, uh, you know, just seeing these men over here, you know, the spirit that they in, all right? These niggas is bitches, all right, you know? And it's just, you know, that perverse spirit, all right, running through this place, all right? And a lot of these men over here, you know, they, they undercovers. Anyway, all right, they cross dresses and shit any goddamn way. Just to tell y'all about that in, uh, right here, Isaiah 3, and verse 9, the show of their countenance. Their outward look, all right? Do it witness against them. And they declare their sin is Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves, all right? You know. All right, and Babylon is the place, mystery Babylon, all right? America today is the place where all this shit, all this shit is, you know, forced on the people, all right? You actually looked at as a uh, as different if you if you're against this stuff all right and to prove that this is this is talking about um america today this is isaiah 19 stand back to isaiah 19 but we're gonna go up to the top 
at verse one it says the burden of egypt all right the word egypt in the scriptures means a house of bondage let me prove that right very quick also exodus chapter 20 <clears throat> in verse two it says i am the lord yahweh shall thy god which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So that's where Egypt is synonymous for bondage. And who was in slavery, in bondage in Egypt? The Israelites, all right, which represents the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans through the seed of their fathers today. All right. So now I'm going to jump back to that Isaiah 19. All right, it says the burden of Egypt. All right. Egypt today represents America. This is spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom and Egypt. All right. It says the burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, ride it upon a swift cloud. The swift cloud is a chariot. All right. A so-called UFO. And shall come into Egypt, which is America. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart, meaning the mind of Egypt, shall melt in the midst of it. All right. Now, ancient Egypt wasn't, you know what I'm saying, took out. That way, all right, ancient Egypt, your Lord destroyed the uh, the Pharaoh and the army, all right? And, you know, uh, he used Moses to deliver the Israelites through the Red Sea, all right? But he didn't destroy Egypt, and he didn't burn it, all right? But it's saying this time when he come back, he's going to burn Egypt. So you have to understand, this is talking about America, spiritual Egypt, all right? Mystery Babylon, all right? Verse 2, and I will set the Egyptians, this is the American citizens, all right? You know, Esau, the top... You know what I'm saying? Heathen nation on the earth, as well as two thirds of our people and the rest of the heathen nations, all right? It says, I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And do you not have a civil unrest in America? It ain't boiled over to, to a civil war yet, but it's a lot of civil unrest, all right? You know, you got, you know, uh, the political parties are divided, which that's all controlled from the elite Edomites, but just showing you the, the, the division in the world. You got the migrant crisis, all right? The immigrant crisis, all that madness. All right. And then, you know, just it's so many divisions in America right now. You can't even name them all. All right. So the Lord said he was going to do that. He said he's going to set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt, again, America shall fail in the midst thereof and I will destroy the council thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards and the Egyptians, the American citizens. Will I give over to the hand of a cruel Lord? All right, creepy, sleepy, Antiochus Joe is ruling you right now. And a fierce king shall rule over them, said the Lord. The Lord, Yahweh shall have a host. All right, but, you know, um, Donald J. Nero Trump is, is making a comeback. All right, you know, he didn't already make the Edomite woman. All right, Bella, what's her name? Uh, let me see. I think her last name is Haley. All right, whatever her name is. All right, she didn't have to bow down and bow out. All right, out of, off the Republican uh, ticket because Donald got that bitch in a stronghold. All right, and he got all you American proud boys. All right, he got them on his side. Hey, Trump even got niggas on his side. All right, you got niggas for Trump. All right, you know what I'm saying? You got all these wishy-washy ass two-thirds celebrities they didn't flip flip teams now they now they for trump all right you know they was for biden the first time around now they for trump this time around showing that all that shit is just it's a it's a big cluster fuck all right it's just it's it's um it's controlled all right it's controlled opposition and it's controlled you know what i'm saying media all right and hey and i speak as a man but I hope Donald does, if it is an election this year, all right? I hope Donald do get back in that bitch, all right? You know what I'm saying? Because creepy sleep Antiochus Joe, all right, you know, he, he, he don't, uh, he ain't, he don't move the needle for me the way, uh, Nero does, all right? But staying with the lesson, um, then we got the, the other part of the lesson, you know, uh, after that you had the, the, the Edomite woman in the gym, all right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you seen what she was doing, okay? She had the medicine ball, and she had the the phone in a, in a in a particular angle, and she was, you know what I'm saying, bouncing up and down, showing you her her ride game, I guess. But if that's what you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? And the eating my man, all right, it, it rubbed him the wrong way, all right. Then the bitch went into how she's on OnlyFans and shit, and uh, how men 
get mad at things they can't have, you women are going to be destroyed in the days we're coming into. Not just the Jake woman, you Edomite women too. All right, you're going to catch it just as worse, if not worse than the Jake woman going to catch it, all right? Because the men of your nation are, are, are tired of your shit as well. All right, you know what I'm saying? These, these men that are actually men, all right, into women, all right, they're fed up with the mindset and the, and the fuckery and the, the bullshit that comes behind you women. All right, that's why you had to eat my past to say, shit, if, I, if, I, if I'm on a jury and you women walking around scantily clad and, 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 and a nigga take that shit, he didn't say a nigga, but he said, and a man take that shit, he going to go free. I'm going to vote him to go free. And he said he's right. And he, hey, and I agree, you know, you, you, you walk around and flaunt your shit. All right, and somebody snatched that shit, then, hey, you should have had the shit protected and covered up. All right. All right, the scriptures teach you teach and speak about women dress dressing in modest apparel. All right, you know, but you got OnlyFans, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, what well, they call it X now, Snapchat, all these other different avenues for these women to uh, promote their sexuality and shit. And we're coming into a time where these men are going they're going uh, they're going they're going to get at you women, bro. All right, the Lord is going to take a way to covering, all right, he's going to pull back this word, all right, because once this word is taken off the off the, uh, off the the scene, then, you know, judgment is going to start coming out at a at a very, very high clip, all right, because that means the elected seal and the rest of you people are marked for judgment, all right, that goes for two-thirds of Jake and all you heathen that's over here in America, all right, you ain't going to get out of here, you're going to die over here, all right, the Lord is going to kill every single American citizen that ain't of the elect. All right, period. Ain't none of them getting away. All right. Jacob's trouble is going to be brutal out here, all right? And it ain't just trouble for Jacob. Yeah, Jacob going to get his ass whooped in it, of course. But you eating mice and you heathens over here, you going to get your ass handed to you as well. All right, especially, you know what I'm saying, you, uh, you weaker vessels being women. All right. It's going to be bad out here, all right? Let me read this, Isaiah 19 and 19. It says, In that day there shall be an altar to the Lord, Yahweh Shai, in the midst of the land of Egypt, and a pillar at the border thereof of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right? Because the Lord is going to turn this place into an altar. He's going to burn this place. All right? I'm saying this is, this is going to be a place to, uh, of remembrance of, of what, what, what happens when you go against the laws of the, of the Lord. All right? When you live recklessly and you live one ton and you live like a fucking Edomite, all right? Again, the man that ruled the city and the uh, sit, the man that run the city, the, the people that live in the city, they just like him, all right? And these Edomites are fucking dogs, all right? These dogs, all right? They get lice like dogs, all right? They stink like dogs, all right? And they do shit that dogs do, all right, you know? And that's why they're considered the base nation, you know, ain't no mercy coming to them. Judgment, slavery, and destruction. That's on the books for you Edomites. All right, so that's pretty much it for the lesson. You know, just wanted to show a couple of clips, read some scriptures, and go through, all right, the madness of the maniac that runs the place, Esau Edom. All right. Today I plan on uh, hitting the camp too. You know what I'm saying? Later on this afternoon, I'll be right to Zion with him. So, uh, you know, stick around for that. But all honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach in the course where I learn this truth. Peace and salutations to the Lord's elect, the house of David, Huam Yasharala. Shalom.